Hey folks, Character Pally here and welcome back to Deus Ex. Okay, time to take down a few people I think. Right, so there's one on the left. Is it any down at the bottom? Quite nice to take him down considering his back's turned to us. Oh shit, there is one at the bottom as well. Bugger. Oh, I can see on the mini map, Pratt. Of course you can. So one, two, three, four, five in total. Okay. Then make things a little bit more complicated. Still kind of want to take this guy down first, though. Give me a little bit more movement room. Go on, nothing here, nothing to see whatsoever, on you go, and I think we'll have a go at him now. Hello! Yeah, because nobody would hear that at all, grab him, come on, come on. Stop sliding on your head, idiot. Now where's this other fool at? Hello? Nope, he's gone right. Let's take all scrunchy neck here. Come on. <laughs> Poor guy. Right, now let's rob him of all, all his worldly possessions and get the hell out of here. Oh, nice. New darts. Okay. Just wait for that nosy beak to move. Go on, turn around. Oh, I can't reach him either. The annoying thing is the guy over in the far side doesn't seem to want to move at all. I haven't seen that little icon of his move at all. I'm guessing he's kind of watching over the whole friggin' area. Just gonna make things a little bit difficult. Wonder if we can take down someone over here. So we've got another guy going through the crates, which is good. We don't have to pay much attention to him. And where does he patrol? Alright, so obviously straight along this area. Does it go around the corner? Because it looks like the guy at the top of the warehouse will be able to see if he doesn't. Yeah. Okay, so he's out of line of sight at least. Guy at the top is watching straight down that bloody lane. I'm going to have to be cheap and just wait for him, I think. Okay, so quickly jump across. Unfortunate thing about this game for you guys is there's going to be quite a bit of this. I'm half tempted to just try and speed up sections like this. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. At least I only alarmed him. There we go. Down you go, you bugger. Right, so that's two down, three to go. Oh, he doesn't even have anything on him. Why has he got a rope around his neck? Bugger. That guy at the end means I can't get in. Anyway, up here. Not really. So we're going to have to go around and take care of that flaming one that's in plain sight of just about everybody in the damn warehouse. 
I should have put it on easy mode. I'm much too much of a coward for this kind of stuff. <laughs> right, um, go around the back, do a couple of action man leaps, whenever they're not looking, of course. Oh, move! That's it. Okay. Just keep making our way across. No, there is the patrol guy at the bottom. Once we're past town, we should be able to make our way around the back, I would think. I'm not too sure, actually. I've not looked up that end of the warehouse yet. Well, he's on his way anyway, so we'll start making the way out, I think. Let's grab the gun. Alright, I'm in full view of him now, so... I'm going to have to wait on him turning around, I guess. Not exactly ideal, but there you go. Really not a fan of first person shooters. But the weird thing is this kind of feels nice. I like the way this works. A bit more thought to it than just bang bang bang. And I like the fact you can go through with like non fatal takedowns. appeals to me slightly more than just blowing the head off things even though that's fun sometimes I like having to use the old noggin sometimes and over we go <laughs> you don't know how quickly you're going to go down do you he's not even looking I think we're just going to go for it and very quickly just get rid of the body because Mr. Patrolman's going to come back. Anything good on you? Yep, we'll have that. And keep an eye out for the con control. Patrol guy. Come on, turn around. Go the other way. I've got a nice present waiting for you. Back of my hand, across your head. Oh, perfect. He even turns his back to us. See, how is that a silent take down? He's screaming his head off. I'm just going to move this body out of the way slightly. On the off chance that somebody else comes into the room. I've not played this bit before, so... I've no idea what happens when you take down that fifth guy. I'd hate to do all this work to have someone walk in and ruin it. Oh, power bar. <laughs> Reminds me of the family guy thing. Oh, piece of candy. No, he wasn't really a pirate, was he? Don't know why I did that accent. Anyway. Yep, you can go down as well, mate. Surely getting smacked around the face with a big robot hand is sore and would probably... Do you damage? Oh, there's more. Ah, uh, okay. I guess there's a couple of guys up in the um, room at the back. A quick look round for any vents or anything. I'm really not sure what I'm doing at this point, but um, don't think I want to go through the exit. Is there anything good upstairs? I 
of events? No? I guess not. I suppose these areas are mainly for taking care of people whenever you've gone the lethal way. So how are we going to get in there? Oh shit, are there more down at the bottom? Bugger, I thought it was dumb. Um, um, uh, I'm gonna move him a bit, just in case somebody comes out. I don't want to mess up all my work so far. Just tuck him away safely, around the back here. Then at least he's not in line of sight of anyone. And we'll get rid of this one as well. Probably being a bit paranoid, but like I say, I haven't played the game before, so I'm not entirely sure if anything bad's going to happen. I'll just chuck him in here with his mate. At least we know nobody's going to be able to see them from the far end. Okay, I feel better now. Covered up my nefarious deeds. Right. What to do next? What to do next? Do we tackle this room or the little side room down below? Definitely no vents in there. Maybe if we go down here and see what there is, it does look a little bit more open than up there. Okay. Can I look through that gap? No, not really. Right, and he hasn't noticed me opening the door at all. Okay. Fair enough then. I think that's a clear enough shot. What the fuck? <laughs> that was a clear shot. Pick an ass hat. Oh, where is he now? Get out of here, pig. Come on, man. Oh, fuck. Come on. Go. Oh. Bloody hell. That was a bit shitty. This guy should be easy enough. He's got his back turned to us. Always a silly move. Boom. Ha ha ha. So get okay, cops, I got it all sorted. Go and eat your donuts. Okay, not strong enough, fair enough. What's behind it? Well, I'm not gonna find out really, am I? So, sort it. Unlock PCs, no good. No XP for them. Thought like there's going to be anything exciting on these at all. No, not really. You can tell this is a game. The way the emails are laid out on the left hand side, if your emails were that big. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. If your emails were that big in real life, You'd be in trouble. Take forever to scroll through mine. 
Bloody hundreds of damn things. Okay, so we've got more people around the back, right? Oh, it'd be too much to ask that they'd move, wouldn't it? Just gonna stand there facing up. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Strike off my earlier comment. Well, that makes things easier. Right, so that one on the top left seems to be fairly. Uh, three totally different directions, I'm fine, I guess. Okay. And just try and sneak up behind this git. So I don't do something stupid and kick over a bin or a flipping chair or something. No, I think he's pretty preoccupied. Pop. Right in your ugly mug. That's what you get for having a big tash. <laughs> Oh, and he's got the bloody radio on. And where are the other two? Is he going to come in? No. Right. Two left. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear. We know he's in that room. So I guess it makes sense to go for the guy down the side. See if there are any hostages in the bathroom. Oh! Some reading material, in case you need a crap. <laughs> No terrorists having a dump. Fair enough. And no vents either. Oh, he's right outside. No, no, don't run. Just crouch quietly, quietly, quietly. And bam. Even though that's about as quiet as rolling bloody thunder. Why on earth do they have their rope around their neck? I know it's some kind of noose, but... Bit weird. It's not like they can use it like a cyanide pill where you can just kind of bite it and all your secrets are safe. You'd have to find a good sturdy beam to tie yourself up to to use that. And bam. Oh shit, again. Bollocks. <laughs> I didn't really want to do that, did I? Bugger. Christ, look how many bloody things there are. I'm going to be here all night. Oh, sorry guys, I can't resist. I am a loot whore. Shit, there are so many! Fuck me! <laughs> oh, 
I wouldn't even mind if there was like one item behind one set, because then I could kind of ignore them. But there seems to be like one in each. Oh, no, not in that one. Yeah, rub it in. Come on, more items. No? Okay. I guess my luck's kind of wearing out. Oh, no. There we go. Ah, I'm finally finished. Oh, and some beer. Nothing on top of them either. So I think that's actually us cleared up in this area. I can't remember if there are any more people. These were the three in the thingy. Hmm, okay. No idea how you get up there. Can I climb a step ladder? No. Oh, maybe I can use this box. Pick it up! And... Doubtful we can reach, but... Hey. No. That shuts it. That's not what we want. No. Nowhere near. I don't know. They call them cybernetically enhanced and they can't run very far and they can't jump very high. Kind of defeats the purpose. Well, I guess that's us clear then. Let's pick up some random crap on the way around. Nope, not a beer. Nope. Oh well. This is time to move on then. Back out into the warehouse, I guess. So that must be us pretty much clear then. Where to next is the question. Well, the map says this way, so we'll follow the map. assembly lab door but my override codes aren't working someone's changed the protocols what didn't you plug the i'm on it but until i find this particular breach and fix it you'll have to hack the door manually Pritchard out i don't like that it looks like an alarm system i'm gonna go over it probably totally pointless but just in case it starts making noises <laughs> okay we're not going to do the tutorial sort it Okay, time to try this bugger out. And hack. Okay, this should be fairly easy. I'm probably going to set the damn thing off, like, but there's nothing really that important here. Um, defend, I guess. Fortify, even. Nope. Can't go that way. Go for this one. And go for this one. And the top one, I guess. Come on. Click, click, click. Access granted. Okay, that was an easy one. Alright, so I guess that gives us access to the next area. Oh fuck, what's that? <laughs> oh, decontamination, okay. Panic, me there, I thought it was a bloody alarm. Right, and since we're between areas at the moment, that seems like a good point to me to cut off the video. I've been Carrick Pally. this has been Deus Ex. You have a good evening now.